it's a tone is nice, yeah. isn't it? It's yeah, a nice it's sort a of... Hum. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. yeah. yeah. Right, he's not around. What's it like working with Gordon? Oh, it's great. It's quite, it's quite good. It's quite refreshing to have <laughs> someone that's there on top of every little nut bolt. And you're, sometimes you're working on one end of the car, he'll come around and he'll point to something and you're like, oh, I haven't got to that part yet. <laughs> but he already knows, he's already on top of every single part of the car. He knows it inside and out. Everything is just relentless. Weight is the biggest part of this car, and it, you can tell when you're driving it later that it is just so light. It's it's just so light, so nimble. You can just chuck it around whenever you want, and it's all Dashing, down to that you don't, weight. You don't chuck a car about, dear boy. <laughs> Jackie Stewart would have a heart attack. You saying that? Uh, Present the car to the corner. <laughs> First thing, how do you get this job? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sweet talking. Wow. I've been involved in uh, this for quite a while now, um, after history of racing years ago, um, but I've moved into development of road cars about 10 years ago, and, and, and now somehow we've lucked into working with um, one of the geniuses of all time with road car development. So Steve, how did you get the job? I've, uh, well, I've been talking to Gordon for a few years about this project. Um, I've, I've known Gordon a long time. Um, I tinker around with some of some of his other toys, and uh, we we just got talking, and the time was right. And uh, I, I was absolutely when when he showed me the what he was going to come up with, I was like, count, I'm in. You know, it was it was no no hesitation. Dream job. Oh my God, yeah. We just want to keep going, don't right? you? There's a camera there, and I'm thinking, I've got to say something intelligent here, and all I did was laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and to me, it inspired a lot of confidence in that first drive. Yeah. Both on the on the high speed, but I took my hands off the wheel. I thought, oh, that was quite nice, yeah. And yeah, it just yeah. sat there. Yeah. As compromised as that car is. You drive it to the you mean a bit like your mm. Yeah, it's, who it's knew? pretty good. Supercar yeah. that actually, actually does what it's supposed to do. It's the lift-off that I didn't like, and, and when he did it live, when we were out there, he said, I, just, I change it for you now, this has got complete lift-off and it's much better. Yeah. You know, the situation where you're flying on an A-road, flying into a corner, and, and it's not really a brake, it's a lift, you yeah. want the car to settle down, yes. and it was running on, and it just doesn't give you the confidence, you know. You want that crisp shut-off? Yeah, you just want to boom, yeah, yeah and, it. and, and it's, it's almost there now. So it sounded good from the outside. It's, it's honestly like nothing else you've ever heard going on the road, ever. It sounds almost like a bike, like a motor, like a... Yeah, oh, it's like a 90s Formula One car. Yeah. That's, that's what yeah. they sounded like. Yeah. Like the old MP4-6, that yeah, kind of... Yeah, the V12s. Yeah, yeah. on the V12. And, yeah, they didn't rev much higher than this, actually. I bet they didn't. Yeah. Oh, you twisted my arm. The, the seat position, the centre thing. It's mega. Uh, thing, yeah, you can go in ignition. So one press clutch off. Yeah. Hey, you got a very nervous passenger. Oh yes. <laughs> Alright. If I scream, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. Don't oh. worry.